Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior bar -L, and today I am going to show you guys how to, uh, you know, do all the cool settings to change your controller color like Sith Lord and have it all red, uh, to do a bunch of uh, different tweaking and so on and so forth to give you the best gaming experience. So the moment you get your, um, you know, you get your device, the first things you have to do is pretty much I'm going to give it to you right here and now. So let's not waste any time and get right to it. <laughs> Okay, guys, so as you can see, I did my own background, obviously. I just got that from any wallpaper. But best thing you guys could do is a lot of you guys are going to run into this and just press this button on the right control. And then when you right-click, uh, you know, uh, click it again on the right controller, uh, you'll see here it has quick settings like uh, brightness, um, sound control, Bluetooth on and off, Wi-Fi on and off, different resolutions that you could play with really quick. But these are quick, you know, uh, quick ones for you or whatever. Uh, switch between 60 hertz and 144 hertz, uh, you know, and do certain lighting effects. But the, the lighting effects won't exactly change the lighting color. That's just effects that you can cycle through. And I'm going to show you and you could put it, turn it off completely to waste a little less battery. I like it solid, obviously. Uh, you know, Xbox right here. Uh, then you got the, you know, you could show yourself over here. You could do whatever you want. You could do all, and you'll see here, all the in, uh, information comes out. Oh God, it went away. <laughs> all the information comes on over there. Um, hold on, let me just, ah, I almost got it there. Um, all the information comes out over here, but you know, and you could just shut it off if you want. Uh, then you, the thermal right here mode, performance, balance, all that goodness. Over here for OS power mode, performance, balance, or efficiency. Again, uh, full fan speed, you can change that, uh, you know, into whatever you want. And then, but you're not getting to the nitty gritty. So the best thing to do is to get to the nitty gritty part. You got to download the Lenovo OS which you're going to see right here, okay? So the Lenovo OS is going to show you also games that you can install from other uh, stuff, like uh, from Steam Deck, from, uh, uh, you know, uh, Epic Games and all of that, and have it in one nice, like a Steam Deck, like I said Steam Deck from Steam, uh, to have a one, uh, you know, kind of an OS for it, even though it's not, it's just a GUI file right here to make it look good. But if you click here to menu, okay, you click to you can do windows here to get to get to windows directly uh but you click here to here um you see it right there hold on let me do this so you're going to see here a cloud game game store library settings and android game right so android games you can you know pretty much buy off of you know the uh microsoft store here using an app or whatever but let's say you don't want but now you're getting into the settings that's the important part so the settings you can see the general you could select uh preferred language 24 hour time clock current version it tells you also the about uh performance right here you could control it this is more uh tweaking so you could do super resolution uh rsr let's turn that on for a second um and uh You'll see here, uh, this is for the network, uh, you know, any type of Wi-Fi that you're using, Bluetooth, add to it, resolution, uh, refresh rates, uh, voice right here, commands, controllers, vibrations. I took it off because it just wastes battery. No, no need for that. I don't even like vibration. Uh, you can start testing, you know, uh, you can try to update. Uh, and here we go. This is right here, the lighting so you could see here which kind of light uh lighting effects do you want uh enable light uh lighting effects customize lights uh so you can do also a profile if you want but here you can see you see solid and then i you could change it to whatever color you want and uh you'll get what you want and also brightness you'll see it could go really bright on here it'll have a bunch of settings how you want it dynamic color blinking etc so here you could actually change your color where the other one the fast one you really can't do that then you just uh you know 
customize it, do a, a sort of like a profile and then just apply profile. But you could do your own lighting effects and it'll be pretty cool. Here you're seeing the disk space that you have with your SSD. If you have other, um, you know, the uh, micro SD, they're, they're going to be there as well. And then, of course, here, screenshot folder, which you could do screenshots. Obviously, you know, they're telling you how to do it, but you could also I'll show you here. Um, you could select a folder for it where you want your screenshots to take place and of course download where you want to download the games and so on and so forth if you want to download it to your um you know micro sd you could do that as well and then you're good to go but you guys could see right here so anyways guys this is how pretty much you get into the settings that is the number one thing you do uh another thing is and if you want to make windows more enjoyable as you see i give it like that xp look right here so if you just do this I don't know if, I uh, guess I got to do it with my finger. I always do it like that. I don't know why it doesn't. Oh, here we go. So you go to uh, personalized settings. Uh, and here you'll see like a bunch. You go to themes. Okay, this is how I, I did a video on this before. Uh, so you guys, uh, you know, for Windows 11 in general. So you go to desktop icon. Okay, and then you could select my computer, so you get, you know, recycling bin, user files, so on and so forth, and you're good to go. And you can also do, um, you'll see right here, give me one moment. I think it was on taskbar, maybe? Yeah, let me see here. Because uh, there's an orientation thing, behaviors, other system trays, so you can kind of like, so in, in, Taskbar behaviors, you could do it from the middle, like Apple, where it was, which I have no idea why Windows want to imitate Apple, but whatever. Uh, and then I just do it to the left. And then as soon as you set that orientation, you have that like Windows XP like look. But uh, those are the things I recommend that when you first get your, um, you know, your Lenovo Go, uh, Legion Go, uh, definitely download this right away. As you can see here, it's a space demon, whatever the hell. Uh, and boom, you're good to go. It just does the loading screen. Now, I am going to say this. It is annoying because the OS, uh, well, the GUI file that is loaded takes a while. And you kind of want to kind of get to it. But you could see that also they have like VIP, you know, different, uh, you know, sales on games. Like this one, I'm definitely going to get Tekken 8. Going to do a review for y'all when that uh, comes out officially but pretty cool because i'm a tech a huge tekken fan since like the old days so as you can see they have like little sales here uh in there uh let me just see what they have tekken at uh, so 59 49 i think uh so we have it here 59 uh, 49 yeah so uh you could see here you could just it's like purchasing straight from steam or wherever the hell <laughs> and then you get it but you get like a 15 percent discount it, it's not them giving it to you they're just pretty much i think looking for all of them through all and just kind of listing it in a nice way that you could just read them from here all of the games and everything and you're good to go so pretty freaking cool and definitely a must uh to have so anyways guys if you like what you see uh definitely like subscribe hit that bell button helps the algorithm a lot uh definitely um you know share it with everybody you know make the family grow comment down below have a good one y'all uh and definitely if you have anything else that you want me to try to test out for you you let me know this is the independent channel the people's channel let me know and i could try to put things to the test if it's within my power i could definitely do that for you guys come out with videos because i want to make sure you guys get the real info you know real inform uh real dis real information so you can make uh you know uh, perfect informed decisions so anyways let me know what you guys think have a good one y'all take care bye as always guys if you like what you see self-funded here be sure to check out all my other uh stuff from mini series to unboxings to technology you know and uh nintendo reviews and 3d printer uh reviews and all that good stuff if you like what you see the only way you can help the channel is by liking uh this video subscribing and hitting that bell button as many more cool videos to come definitely want you guys in it and i want to i want you guys to be vocal definitely comment down below i want to hear what you guys have to say have a good one y'all take care bye